Hello YouTube, welcome back to the last week of the year before I retire for the rest of the year of GTA Online's new week content featuring general info at the beginning of the video and more specific details later on. So for those who do enjoy videos like these and wish to see more, do leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned, you know the drill, yada yada yada, and uh, let's get into it. Starting off with general information that I'm just going to go through quickly because I'm going to go into detail later on for those who are interested. We have new bonuses such as the following including double rewards and the fact that the 300R is out of stock which doesn't bother me so much. However, the power surge is now available which is pretty cool. We also have discounts up to 30% off many items and just 30% off many items. We also have new vehicle showcases that exist. We also have new premium racing time trials and information in the background. Besides that, again, we still have the Power Surge, which is a new bike of the game. We also have information in the background in regards to a free item. The LS Smoking Jacket apparently is only available, as mentioned up to now, for new gen console players. For some reason, maybe if people were misinformed or Rockstar didn't say enough, however, only new gen players are able to receive this clothing item after completing 25 fooligan jobs. We also have, yeah, we have snow still in GTA Online, which is pretty surprising since Rockstar for the past few years only kept it for a week. There was once during Doomsday event where it was only kept for two days but then people got mad so then rockstar kept it for a week and was just at that now we they have it for more than a week which i'm actually proud because now i feel like someone actually is trying to make a better reputation for gta online slowly but surely working on it but i'm actually giving confidence and therefore hopes that and i'm commending rockstar for actually making GTA Online a lot more fun <laughs> because snow like oh man we actually have snow in this game for like longer than a week that's crazy as well as rewards such as the 25 snowmen are still in the game which you can get up to $250,000 for which is $5,000 per snowman and $125,000 after all 25 has been taken out and the snowman outfit we also have new fooligan job rewards and then the equipment upgrade for the acid lab and new of course fully and job rewards again so that for those who didn't believe the first time can see directly from rockstar newswire the following information for those who are interested to read pause if you don't want to read that we have air freight cargo that is paying a lot of money right now of course as mentioned because they are on double rewards on top of the triple permanent event or like reward increase we have we, it's it pays a lot now just look at this chart narcotics pays the most now it's or chemicals this is crazy that's narcotics and chemicals just source those and that's this is it's amazing we also have new rewards for the new year that is released in GTA Online, such as the following which I will mention later on in a small list that someone has seen in their game besides myself with the gooch and whistle plaza shootout random events are still active and you have an extra requirement to perform the gooch event where one player must have cash in your wallet so if you want to have the gooch come after you you need to have money in your wallet not your bank just go on your phone go to maze bank and say oh i want to withdraw money and make sure the other player or players in your session don't have any money in their wallet so that you can have the gooch come after you if you want to score the gooch mask we also have a question for a possible typo that probably could end this week's event on january 5th or the 6th it depends but i'll still keep tuned to that later on when the day arrives and also yep as mentioned we have a list of these new items that have been given to players this week for free for new year rewards we also have 30% off these items, as mentioned earlier on. We have vehicles that are showcased in different areas. We also have a tip to give you if you want to get the Gooch mask easier. 
in an easier fashion. And finally, people are looking forward to this drift feed being released in GTA Online. Now let's get into the specific details for the game. Just a friendly reminder, if you haven't liked or subscribed yet, the Gooch will not come after you. He will go after someone else, just to make you feel bad. Anyways, moving on, new vehicle of the game. We have the Western Power Surge, which I have actually tried this bike and it feels so fast, even without upgrades. I love it. It's an electric too, so you don't have the transmission delay between gear shifts, which is perfect for time trials, which I will definitely perform in a video coming today. A time trial, which I'll mention later on in a video what the time trial is. We have the Truffate Adder, which was one of the most expensive, most iconic, most, oh my gosh, I want this vehicle to show how much of a millionaire I am. Back in 2013, when GTA Line initially released, because everyone only was able to just get thousands of dollars every few hours to then be able to make enough money to get a million dollars to then say, oh hey, yeah, back in the day making money was hard. So this vehicle took like weeks worth of grinding just to buy the vehicle itself. Let it, Forget the upgrades. But now we have things that can pay us a million dollars within like seconds if we actually tried. But that's besides the point. Yeah, this vehicle is an icon. And whoever wants to win this vehicle can win the vehicle. My game is closed for some reason. Damn, someone crashed my game. Anyways, moving on, Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. We also have prize ride of that vehicle, which the prize ride rewards is to place top three for three days in a row in a pursuit series. How did my game get crashed? It just closed. Oh, whatever, I don't care. Previan, the test track vehicles. We have the Karen Previan, which I prefer the San Andreas version, but... Anyways, we also have the Vapid Dominator GTX, which is probably one of the best Mustangs in the game in terms of handling. Not the best top speed, but it's still pretty cool. It can still keep its average top speed regardless. The Anis Remus is also a test track vehicle. Rewards for this week includes run missions on double rewards, such as Base Invaders, Crank Up the Volume, Demon Run... Fueling the Flames, Landing Gear, we also have Romances and Dead, that's on Double Rewards, as well as Turbine, Carbine, and Wet Workers, all Ron Missions, Double Rewards. We also have Drop Zone Average Stream Modes from 1 to 5, that's on Double Rewards. We also have Double Rewards, as mentioned, just in more simpler term, on Ron Contact Missions, Smuggler Cell Missions for this week, and Double Rewards on RP on Drop Zone. Which is pretty cool. Simeon Vehicles includes this one vehicle that I've made a video on earlier this week. On how to enter LSI in style. Yeah, this is on discount now, which is pretty cool. We also have Tofu Vehicle because I watched Initial D this week. That's amazing. We also have this. I don't know why this is here, but yeah, this vehicle's in his dealership. We also have one of my most favorite trucks of the game that's in his dealership. And finally, the Skeleton of a vehicle is in his dealership. Luxury Autos includes what I thought back in the day was the fastest car in the game, even though it actually wasn't. What a shame to believe that back then. But yeah, this vehicle is on the Luxury Autos podium. We also have the new bike of the game, which is on the Luxury Autos podium. Discounts this week includes a discount on the Howard NX25, the Progen GP1, the Grotty Stinger, the Volatile, the Pyro and Rogue, we also have the Vapid Dominator GTX, that's on discount, the Blazer Aqua, the Dubsta 6x6, the Karen Fruto GTX, and the Candice Camacho and Vapid Trophy Truck, all on discount. We also have discounts on businesses for hangers. All hangers and renovations are on discount this week. And finally, Time Trial includes the time trial in Route 68, the RC time trial in Davis Courts, and finally, the House Special Works time trial in East Vinewood for this week. So that is all the information that I have, and of course, my game got closed, so I can't really give the best end screen anymore, so let me just give you these discounts, or just these new rewards, and let you have fun reading the rest of that. Of course, someone had to close my game while I was recording. Thanks! <laughs> Ah, oh, Rockstar.
Oh, GTA Online. Oh, how cursed this game is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned for more if you wish to see more stuff like this in the coming future. And I'll see you all on the next one. Next video, next time trial video, next anything. Also, P.S. Chances are I may be uploading four short clips a day as of New Year's. Whoever wishes to sign the poll to say otherwise, do so. The community poll is still up and running. Well, that's it for then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And my game is, of course, gone. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Merry Christmas.